Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can set up PlayStation Remote Play on the PS Vita. So the Remote Play is a service that PlayStation do that allow you to control and play your PlayStation 4 from another device, such as this device here, or your laptop, or your PC. Now, you can connect up locally, so I can just connect up to the Wi-Fi, and then you can use it that way, but a better option is to connect it up to your Wi-Fi hotspot on your mobile cell phone, and then you will be able to take this absolutely anywhere, and you just connect up via the internet. So in this video today, I'm just gonna show you the two ways of connecting up. Now, to begin with at the moment, I've already got my Vita set up to the same home network as I have the PlayStation 4. So it's gonna be really easy to do. First of all, I'm gonna set up the settings on the PlayStation 4, and then I'm gonna show you what to do on the Vita. So on the PlayStation 4, all we need to do is we need to go up to settings. So you see settings on the right-hand side there, and press X. And now, just zoom in a bit, we need to go down to where it says remote play. So you see it says there remote play connection settings and I'm gonna press X. And first of all, I need to enable remote play. So I'm just gonna press X in that checkbox. And there it says connect direct directly with PS Vita and PS TV. So they've already checked that for me. If it's not checked, then you do need to check that one there. So that's all we need to do on that bit there. But now for this next part, because I wanna be able to play this away from home as well, I'm gonna change the power setting because I need the PS4 to be able to wake up when I issue the command from my PlayStation Vita. And this time I'm gonna go down to power saving settings and press X. And I'm gonna go down to set features available in rest mode and press X. And I'm gonna say stay connected to the internet. So I'm gonna press X on that. And I'm also going to go to this one, is the important one, enable turning on of PS4 from the network. So that's what we want to do, because when we're away from home, we want to be able to turn the PlayStation 4 on. That's it. Now, when you turn off your PlayStation 4, you will just have to keep it in rest mode, because obviously if I turn this off completely, then it's not going to be able to be woken up again. But if I just keep it in rest mode, then it will be able to be woken up. So, but I'll show you all that later on in the video. Right, so that's the PS4 side of it done. Now, on the PlayStation Vita, it's really easy. I'm right, so go to PS4 link, and I'm gonna go to start. And now what it's gonna do is, once I hit remote play, it's gonna search nearby for the connection, and it will pick it up because we're off the same router connection, or you guys might know it as a router. And up there now it says, connected using remote play and here we will have it working so it's as simple as that that's all you need to do and if you have a look there now you can see when I move it here it moves on screen and then any digital game I can just play if I want to play a disc then the disc has to be physically in here beforehand so if you're going to take this you know away to a different part of the country and you know you want to play for example like minecraft or something you have to make sure that that disc is already in here but all your digital games you will be able to just play remotely because obviously they're already on the hard drive of the ps4 right so that's how you will do it in wi-fi range but now if i was to take that outside i'm going to lose wi-fi range and then i'm not going to be able to use it so i want to now connect it up to my mobile phone hotspot and in theory then I can take it absolutely anywhere I want as long as I have a good connection. So if I have a good 4G connection, it's gonna work well. If I have a poor connection, the service is gonna be really bad. Now, as well as that, I've got this PS4 connected up via a LAN cable, this ethernet cable in the back here. If it's on Wi-Fi, the service is not gonna be good because if you're using this on Wi-Fi and the PS4 on Wi-Fi, unless you've got a really rock solid connection, it's not gonna work well. But if you connect it up via a LAN cable, then you're gonna get the best possible connection to your PS4, and then this will have to be connected by Wi-Fi anyway, so you haven't got a choice. But obviously, the stronger the signal, the better it works. So if you try it and it doesn't work very well, don't be disheartened, because you might be just having a bad signal on your mobile phone. Try a different location, and if you have a good, strong 4G signal, you will see it will work okay. Right, so I've got my phone here now. Let's enable the Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone. 
Right, okay, now to get to the Wi-Fi hotspot, you have to go into your settings. So you might have an icon on here already, or you might have to go to the menu down here and find where your settings icon is. I must say now, this is an Android phone, so I'm gonna go to settings. But obviously, you will be able to do a Wi-Fi hotspot on any phone that you have. Right, under wireless and networks, then I'm gonna to go to more. So I'm gonna tap it there. And I'm going to go to where it says tethering and portable hotspot. And before I turn it on, I'm just going to look at the settings because I'll need to know my password and what the SSID of the phone is. So on this phone, the network name is VFD900. So when I search for a network on the PlayStation Vita, that's what I'm looking for, VFD900. You can change this to something more memorable if you like. And then if you were to click on, tap on show password, it's gonna show you what the password is up here. So I'm not gonna do that in this particular one. Now, if you've got an option on the band between 2.4 and five gigahertz, you're gonna to have to keep it on the 2.4 because on this particular PlayStation Vita here, it will only recognize the 2.4 gigahertz channel. That This particular Vita is a first generation one, the one with the OLED screen, so it's the fat version, not the slim version. All right, okay, so anyway, that's where you will get your network name and your password from. I'm just gonna hit save, and now I'm just gonna tap where it says portable Wi-Fi hotspot to turn it on. And now that's turned on, and if you have a look up there, I've got a little round symbol, looks like kind of Pac-Man on the side there. Yeah, so that's that symbol there. So that's the, the hotspot enabled. Now, you will have to check your allowance on your phone. I get over 20 gigabytes of data a month on this, so I'm absolutely fine. If you're only getting 500 megabytes, which is half a gigabyte, then you wanna be careful using a service like this because you will eat up through the data. So you don't wanna be charged from your mobile cell phone provider a load of money for data that you weren't realizing you were, you, you were using. So double check to see what plan you're on to make sure that you've got enough data on your plan to be able to use this without paying a whole load of money. Right, okay, so that's set up now. But in future, the only thing you have to do to set it up is basically scroll down from the top, see where it says hotspot, and tap it, because your PS Vita will already have the password and everything registered to it. Registered to it. So it's only gonna take a while on the first time. So that's it there now, and I can turn the screen off. The hotspot is still live. You can see a little flashing light there. Right, now on the PS Vita, what I'm gonna do is, I wanna now connect, because at the moment I'm still, well I'm still connected locally to my uh, uh, PlayStation, so I just wanna get out of that. So I'm just gonna tap that, and I'm just gonna hold down the PS4 button here, and I'm just gonna go down to where it says power, and I'm gonna enter it into rest mode. And now what that will do is it will turn my PS4 off, just the same now as you would do when you finish playing with it, and it says that the connection has been lost. And there we go, you can see now that my PS4 is now in rest mode. Right, so at the moment I'm still connected to my local Wi-Fi, but I now wanna connect it up to my mobile phone so I can take this PS Vita and use the PlayStation Remote Play anywhere I go. So I'm gonna to go to Settings, Start, and I'm gonna go down to Network. I'm gonna to go to Wi-Fi Settings. Now at the moment it says I'm Wi-Fi connected to my Virgin Media, that's my one at home, but I'm gonna connect up to VFD900, which was the SSID of my mobile phone. So I'm gonna hit VFD900, and now it's gonna ask me for the password that I mentioned earlier. So I'm just gonna take that off screen now and enter the password. Okay, so I've entered the password now and it's saying please wait. And now I'm connected, so it says here Wi-Fi connected, WFD 900, and you can see I've got a nice strong signal there. So let's get out of that. And now let's go into PS4 link again. And this time it won't search locally, it will search via the internet. So to begin with it will search locally and it won't find it because we're not connected locally anymore. And then it will search via the internet and it will find it. So I'm gonna hit that there, and right now, my PS4 down here is in just standby mode, so you can see the little lights on in the bottom corner here, amber. Okay. And what I'll do as well is, just to show you that it doesn't, the screen doesn't have to be on. So at the moment, you've seen earlier it was working on the screen, but I'm gonna unplug the HDMI lead from the back, 
and right now I've only got the power and the LAN cable connected to the PS4. So now let's go to PS4 link, start, remote play, it will say search nearby and when it doesn't find anything nearby it will then say search via the internet and that's hopefully when it will pick up. Right, did you hear the little beep there? And if you have a look now, you've got a blue light down here. So it's woken up via the network. It says turning on the PS4 system. So if you hadn't have enabled that wake up via the network, then it wouldn't be able to do that. So that's why it's important that you change those PS4 settings. Now I don't have a great mobile signal in my house. I do have 4G, but I've only got a couple of bars. It's not a strong signal, but as you can see, it has worked there, yeah? But when you're doing this now, the touch screen will no longer work on the PS Vita, because remember, you're taking the screen from the PS4, so you are gonna have to use, just like you would do your PS4 controller, yeah? Now on certain games, you will have to map the buttons differently because remember you haven't got the same buttons here that you have on a PS4 controller. So on the controller down here, the buttons we're missing on the Vita are L2, R2, and also when you click in on the L3 and R3. So we're basically missing L2, L3, and R2, and R3. And what that will do is, normally it will either map it to the touchpad on the back, so it might be here, 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 and here, or it can be to the top corners. You see when I just go up there, can you see that there's, it does things to the top corners? So for example, that could be L2 and L3 and R2 and R3. And then in the middle, can you see there, that will mimic the touchpad here. Yeah, so that will mimic there. Right, okay, so if you have a look there, these are all the games that would be on my hard drive, for example. If I had a disc in there, then it would be fine. You could still play the disc in there at the moment I haven't got any disc in the PlayStation 4 but if I was to go to Drive Club and right now this is working from my mobile phone hotspot so in theory anywhere that I've got a good connection I will be able to take this absolutely anywhere and connect up to my PlayStation 4 so yes right now I am by my PlayStation 4 but if I was to take this camera and take it upstairs I mean, this is still within Wi-Fi range, so it's not really proving anything, but I'm just showing that it will work, obviously, when you're away from the PlayStation 4 as well. But it's still connected to my phone. And you have sound and everything come through. There we go. So you would have accelerate here, on the R button up the top, you would have brake here and reverse. And then you can change the camera angle by up on the directional pad. So you can see there, and you would have left and right steer on here, and then you can look around the place with your right analog. So if I was to do that there, you can look around using your right analog. And then I think it's zero for handbrake. and I think it's O for handbrake, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so there you go, that's remote play working on the PS Vita, which is a really great feature. This is kind of not really used very much, but uh, I think a lot of people think it's laggy and stuff, but if you've got a good connection with the LAN cable, and if you've got a good 4G signal here, then it works well. Obviously, it depends what game you're playing. If you're playing first shooter games, then possibly it's not going to work as well as just doing a racing game here or Minecraft or some kind of platform game. Okay, and then when you finish with it, what you can do is you can just tap the PlayStation button here and you can hold down the PlayStation button in the middle here and then what you can do is you just put it into enter rest mode again and then it means that your PS4 won't be wearing away for the next while until it goes into standby. So if I was just to hit X here into enter rest mode, and what it will do is it will turn off the PS4 
and then the PlayStation Vita will say that the connection's been lost. There we go. So right now the PS4 is back into standby mode again, into rest mode. So now, if for example the service isn't great, it's not working as well as you want it to, what you can do is you can lower the resolution and you can also lower the frame rate as well. So when you're on this page here, the remote play screen, if you have a look, there's three little buttons down the bottom here, just tap that and then it will say settings, so tap settings and then what you can do is you can do the video quality for remote play and you can at the moment I've got it on 540p I can lower that to 360p because obviously then that's going to use up less data so in theory if the connection's a little bit if it's glitchy then try it at a lower resolution because even 360 on a screen this small is still going to look nice enough and also the frame rate you can have between standard and high. So obviously if you've got a really good connection in your house with your internet between your router and your PS4 if you're using a LAN cable and also you've got a great internet connection into the house and you've got a really good 4G signal here then put it on high which is standard 540 and also put it on high frame rate and then obviously that will be the best you can get but if it's suffering and it's glitching lower it down to standard and also put it down to 360 and then you can try it again. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Hi there, my name's Vince from My Mate.